Hi Aquarius, how's everybody doing? Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. looks like there is a process of release that has been continuously occurring. Something that's been happening over time. You may feel as well. Like, you've gotten so far with this process of release that you've been doing that you can actually start seeing the progress now that you've been making. Like, maybe before it was taking time and time and time and you were like, I don't really feel like I'm going anywhere. Have I taken any steps? Maybe feeling like you were going backwards at times as well. But now it feels like you're getting to a spot where you're like, wow, look at how far I've come. This is what I'm seeing here. on the healing journey especially in letting go of things that you are finally ready to release and things that this is not an easy path to be on with the four of pentacles because the four of pentacles sometimes wants to hold on to things and sometimes has a hard time um even recognizing what needs to be let go of but it seems like you may have gotten a more clear picture when it comes to what it is that you want to let go of, when it comes to how holding on to certain things have been affecting you and seeing the result that can occur from releasing old cycles, old experiences. Not in a way where we forget what happens, but in a way where we're no longer held back by the notion of holding on to emotional experiences that do not feel good to hold on to any longer. So there's also a sense of forgiveness, a sense of acceptance that's developed through these steps that you're taking. For some of you, you can even be in um, some type of step program too, in therapy. This can be personal progress as well that you feel like you're making when it comes to letting go of things. It's letting go of things that feel painful to hold on to. It's like letting go of a hot pan. And the longer you hold on to it, the more you recognize that it's burning you. And there's a sense of coming to a point where you're like, why am I still holding on to this? And actually avidly letting go letting go too of things not not going in the way that you want them to or in the way that you had hoped for them to and being able to see what breaks out from that so there's a sense of hope that comes after this I'm not seeing this as like one primary experience. I'm seeing this as multiple experiences. And maybe this is also something that we're learning. When you go through a, I'm hearing a program, when you go through a process of release, there's a sense of recognizing patterns and recognizing like what other things am I holding on to that I need to let go of? Especially when it comes to expectations that are not in alignment with what's actually going on so this is about getting rid of those models too and being like this is what actually happened and I'm aligning myself and my expectations with what's going on here and I'm accepting the situations for what they have been and there's a sense of this helping you to adapt further both where you are now and also in your future experiences as well so really some deep psychological, emotional stuff that's going on here.
Yeah. It looks like something's finally, finally done. A weight finally being lifted off your shoulders. This would have been something really heavy. Definitely a long, long process. For some of you, this has been years and years of things building up. So we're letting go of a lot of stuff here. There's also an acceptance too, when you've been in situations where maybe somebody hasn't shown up in the way that you had hoped for them to, there's a sense of letting this go while also still understanding how you want to be treated and maybe this also meant letting go of certain people because you know how you want to be treated, because you know what feels like respect when you're in a dynamic with someone and also what doesn't feel like that. So there's a sense of maybe even um, discovering a stronger value system when it comes to what you want to be involved in and what types of dynamics you want to have with people. So more of knowing yourself and what feels right to you and what's worth it for you to be involved in. I feel like there's also something going on here too when it comes to how you evaluate your relationships, evaluating them based off of the experiences that you're having rather than what you want to be happening. So that's what's being judged. Because we can want to trust somebody or want to be with someone or you have great chemistry with someone and you hope it works out. However, like they are failing to show up in the way that you want them to or you don't like the way you're being treated and this is about judging what's going on off of like what your actual experience is rather than again what you hope for it to be which also helps you decide what types of situations you want to be in as well for yourself yeah for some of you i'm seeing a significant relationship that you may have let go of Something where you really knew that you resonated with someone, it's like behind action and behind all of that energetically, you could have really felt a strong bond with someone, but behavior wise, there's a sense of being like, I can't do this anymore. There's too much pain. There's too much, maybe you feel history. And maybe you felt, um, for some of you, even a dangerous, harmful, unhealthy environment that you had been in with someone. So there's a sense of putting yourself first in that way. Putting your spiritual health, your emotional health, your physical health to the forefront. And prioritizing that rather than just the type of bond you have with someone. So definitely a big cycle of experiencing loss and grief like for some of you you could have even actually lost someone but it was something that you couldn't be involved in anymore this can even be like a friend or friend groups that you have where things are going on that like aren't you recognize as not being okay for you to be around anymore and so it's something that you had to walk away from for yourself for some of you it was even like for your children for the sake of a healthier lifestyle. Having the strength too to know what your values are and how you expect to be treated, what feels like equality for you, what feels like empowerment for you. For some of you, um, I'm seeing an intense relationship ending. For others of you, it's a marriage. It's interesting the way the cards are leading up because there's a sense of having some type of unity with someone 
but that breaking apart because of a move that needed to be made for yourself and for the betterment of you and because of like breaking apart from something that at one time was together there's a sense of actually finding that harmony that you're looking for but definitely after going through this process of acceptance and like the stages of grief that you go through validating your feelings your emotional experience and then letting go of all of it i'm i'm seeing such a big change that this has had on you such a big impact that this has had on you leading you towards a change that has felt completely monumental within the process of this is the type of change that you go through with the death card where you wouldn't even recognize yourself. It's like if you saw yourself, your past self, like a year or two ago or 15 years ago, looking at where you are now, it's like that past self like wouldn't even imagine where you are now. So there's a sense of undergoing such a huge amount of growth in that way. And I am looking at Saturn. I'm looking at Pluto here with Scorpio. I'm also looking at Leo with the Strength card. There's a sense of endurance here, of working through the most difficult, especially on the emotional and psychological front, the most difficult situations and experiences. And also even finding yourself through that, discovering who you are. And seeing what's been waiting for you on the other side of that. For some of you too, this was a choice of either coming into union with yourself or prioritizing a relationship or maybe multiple relationships. Like this can be even with family members and stuff or like chosen family even. There's a sense of going through this experience and being like, I can be with this person and stick in a situation that my higher self doesn't actually believe is healthy for me or I can prioritize my intuition and my higher self and what I believe to be right but I know that I'm gonna have to let go of a connection in order to do that and there's a sense of walking away from something that that you know needs to end and whether this was like your choice initially or not there's a sense of there being like a big split and multiple multiple experiences that you had within the connections that have kind of led you into this place and into this very big change for yourself and it's kind of like a trade-off because you've gotten so much more connected with yourself because of these experiences that you've been through and not things that really feel like you would knowingly go into it and be like, yeah, this is going to get me in touch with myself. There's a sense of going into these situations and there being so much hope in the beginning of them and there being so much like emotional presence within that, that you were affected so deeply because of this. And for some of you, you may have really felt like you found your person or the person that you wanted to be with maybe multiple times even. And there's a sense of repeatedly having to let these things things go when they are no longer aligning with you any longer when it's no longer a situation that you can be in and prioritizing yourself here the trade-off is finding a, a true sense of happiness and the active pursuit of that Rather than staying in a situation because you have an attachment with someone, this is about you pursuing your happiness from a space where like your ego or your trauma or your fear is not the one making decisions for you. This is you being so connected with yourself that you're making the best decisions with any given situation that you find yourself in. Because it really feels like this place where it's like you can choose your pursuit of happiness or you can choose to be acting from a place of like shadow and ear, fear and ego and anything else that may be holding you back. Even subconscious patterns that have to be broken out of, that have to be realized and then broken out of.
there's a sense too of developing an even stronger relationship with yourself and coming into union with yourself. Rather than feeling like you need another person to validate that experience for yourself, you're finding this between you and yourself. And when we do that too, we come into a knowing that we wouldn't have been able to grasp before. Something that wouldn't have been able to develop. So there's strength and development throughout, throughout this process. In really coming into what even feels at times like a final form of yourself. Because you are coming into union with your higher self, with your higher knowing. It also is something that once you go through experiences like this, you, you gain certain abilities that unless they were triggered by certain situations, you wouldn't even have recognized that you'd be able to do. So this is also a profound experience. Like, again, even though it's not something comfortable, it's not something that I think people would actively choose to be a part of. There's a sense of receiving something even like on on and from a higher realm that wouldn't have otherwise been activated In the first spread, I'm looking at Leo, Scorpio, Moon, Saturn, and Libra. For some of you, you're connecting with someone who's going to add to an ideal or a goal that you have. This can even mean finding someone, connecting with someone that you feel is really on the same page with you. I'm looking at the emperor here. The emperor represents Aries. This can mean you coming into a position where there's a sense of being seasoned with the emperor. The emperor is the manifestation of all of the kings morphed into one it's the divine masculine energy so whether this be you developing that within yourself so it's like you can be running a household you can be running a business this is also about building your empire or you're connecting with someone who has that same type of vision as you and because, in you, because of you being in this form that you have developed into, there's a sense of also meeting somebody that aligns with you that's also been through maybe a parallel process in their own right. I want to get further and see what this is about. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the Emperor and I'm looking at the Knight of Pentacles and I'm also looking at the Ten of Pentacles here. So th this can be... A job offer, somebody wants you to come work for their company, or somebody wants to get involved with you, and it touches your home life, even with the Ten of Pentacles. Or you could be involving people in what you're doing. I'm seeing something hidden. Very interesting. I feel like... There's something that's going to be entering into your life that's either going to be, well, either way, it's going to be building upon whatever it is that you have right now. But there's a sense of, there's a sense of this being a significant moment for you or a significant person that you're connecting with. When we talk about the Emperor too... And we say things like divine masculine. This does not mean a gender in particular. If one identifies with a specific gender, it's just about the energy. 
And same goes for in the readings too. If you hear me say her or him or them, you can, it's all interchangeable to fit your story. Any of the pronouns. Okay, so for some of you, this is about taking action and extending an offer to someone. It all depends on what you identify your energy as. If you would imagine yourself being like more receptive to a situation, this would mean that you're more in a feminine energy. If you would be the one extending an offer in this scenario you would be in a more masculine energy so it's all just going an offer i'm seeing this right below the knight of pentacles it seems like you're we're just gonna go with one storyline and you can reverse the energy if that fits for you i'm seeing there be a decision about extending an offer to someone so it's like and maybe something that you had been putting off, but it's something that you know you want to do. The thing with the Two of Swords is that this is a decision where you already know what the answer is. You already know what move you want to make. You already know what opportunity you want to take. There's just a sense of needing to take action and do this. And maybe there's a sense of like trying to figure out the best way to go about that. I'm here courting specifically. Maybe you are trying to court someone. Interesting word to be used in this scenario. But maybe like something more serious. You're trying to bring someone into your life or there's someone that you're interested in. Someone that would fit the picture for you. You may want to make an offer to someone. Remember, energies can always be reversed. You may want to make an offer to someone, but you don't know if it's guided or not. And so you could be um, stalling a little bit or stammering. Maybe something even got postponed because I'm getting that too. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of waiting energy. With this card, how I've been seeing it lately is that there's kind of a decision that's in the process right now. However, the seed has already been planted for it. So it's like, this is an idea that's a reoccurring idea. It's something that you already have known that you wanted to do, but you may not have actually taken action yet on this. For some of you, it's because there are unknown factors or variables that you're waiting on. For example, it's like, well, when I meet the right person, I just haven't met them yet. I'm going to extend the offer to them or I'm going to try to get involved with them. For others of you, this is a sense of like maybe you've already actually found someone that you're interested in and this is actually about taking action and making that offer. So it's about going about that. I'm looking at Aries, Taurus, and Pisces here. For those of you that would be on the receiving end, it seems like somebody already has their eye on you. It's just them trying to figure out how they want to go about coming through and maybe even making contact with you or telling you that they're interested in you. For some of you, you're going to get invited somewhere. Wow, the Ace of Cups. So this is definitely someone that has feelings for you. I'm seeing a new energy. I'm not necessarily perceiving this as being someone you know already. If you are the one that's receiving the offer, this person, I'm just picking this up with the emperor. They may be a little bit older than you or there may be some sort of age gap even. But I mean, what is an age gap? I don't know how how much of one there would be or maybe you just perceive this person as um 
having things together in their life in a way that you appreciate or in a way that makes sense to you. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing someone in an established type of energy here with the Emperor. This is somebody that knows what they want. This is someone really serious. This is somebody who's going to be consistent. And this is somebody that also really means what they say as well. This is somebody that would come through and be very transparent about the way that they're feeling and also about their intentions as well. I don't know why the Two of Swords is here, though. Because whoever the person is that wants to make an offer, there's a sense of not taking action yet at this point, even though they know that you guys have a connection, like they feel that with you, or at least they know that they're interested in you. Emotionally, definitely something going on there. But with the Ace of Cups, this is like beyond emotion. This is something that is palpable energetically maybe they're also a little bit nervous ah i see they're nervous that you're not gonna take the offer that's sweet okay so yeah i'm they don't know how you're gonna respond to this maybe they also have a lot banking on this as well it's like, I'm I'm seeing this kind of be in the fear space. It's like, they want to make an offer to you, but they don't know if when they come in and make that offer, if you are going to like grant access or if you're going to be like, no, I'm not interested. So I'm getting that this is what the like waiting energy is. It's like, they really want to come through and make an offer to you, but there's a sense of maybe worrying because they want to make sure that they're doing it the right way. They don't know if you're going to take the offer. I'm seeing this be like someone with very, very clear and pure intentions. This is somebody who's very sure about what they're doing. Um, it's a very stable, reliable type of energy. It's somebody that wants to build and grow with you with the, um, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here. But there's a sense of yeah, them being completely unsure as to whether maybe even you're interested, maybe even your status. Like, maybe they don't know completely where you are with things. This really does feel like an energy that you're not completely familiar with. Because if this was somebody that was already in your life, these would be questions that they would already have the answers to. It's like they would know whether you would potentially be interested in them or not. So this, it feels like this is somebody that has not yet indicated to you how they're feeling, but they know how they're feeling. Like if one thing is sure, it's how they're feeling towards you. So... Okay, so I'm seeing this person be extremely interested and also maybe even set on this because sometimes the Emperor can be a little bit of a rigid energy occasionally. As I said before, they may be like really banking on this and so there's a sense, you know when you want to do something and you get so excited about it or you want it so badly that you kind of hesi hesitate a little bit, like there's that procrastination energy. There's a sense of them like wanting all of the pieces to fall in together and like knowing in their wise mind that the things that are meant to be are going to unfold in that way. But it's still a mystery as to like whether or not you are like, I don't want to say the missing piece because I feel like it pushes the agenda that we're not whole and complete all by ourselves. But there's a sense of this person like looking for something in their life and being like, are you that other thing that I want to add into my life? Because I'm seeing that they very much think that you are. However, they don't know what your impression is or impression is of them or if you're going to be interested. I know we're kind of reiterating, but this is what I'm seeing in, in the energy. And I'm seeing for sure that there's a sense of like, you don't know this person's identity or they haven't come through and been completely clear with you.
but not in a way where someone's playing games. It's more so in a way where there's still a preemptive happening here with them because I'm seeing that this is the intention space. As I said before with this card, it's like somebody has already planted the seed. Somebody has already been like envisioning this. This is what I'm manifesting into my life. This is what I'm hoping to come to fruition. It just hasn't actually happened yet. So there's a sense of still nurturing that dream. Ooh, but there's a sense of tension and stress, maybe because of how long that this has been taking to. If this is on your end too, you can be looking for an ideal partner and be like, when is this person going to show up? When am I going to meet them in my life? It's like you already know what you've been trying to manifest. You're trying to manifest a partner into your life. And there's a sense of being like, this is taking forever and feeling stressed out because of the timing of how everything is happening and because there are definitely unknowns to it something is going to end up being revealed to you i'm seeing with the moon card here it's just a matter of when is what i'm hearing to go over the zodiacs again i'm looking at aries i'm looking at pisces and i'm looking at taurus here with the knight of pentacles too the knight of pentacles can be a more slow energy as well but i am seeing fire behind it because of the aries energy It looks like this is somebody who's very on track with what their mission is, like from a personal place without involving other people. Like I'm seeing this person um, definitely has a sense of self and like what their mission is, so to speak. But yeah, I'm seeing them kind of sweating over here because they don't know if you're going to going to take the offer. Now I'm looking at the nine of swords here. Yeah, it's like the cards are just confirming it. I'm seeing somebody worry. It's like they want a new beginning. They don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, for whatever reason, it seems like this person wants to come through. But for some, for some reason, the timing is not right yet. So something can't yet fall into place. I'm, I have no clue why this is. I'm not picking up on anything. as to what's been the delay, but I'm, I'm seeing that something is kind of on hold right now. But this can even be them psyching themselves out. I just said psyching themselves out. Emotional confusion. It's like, maybe they also have some stuff going on, like maybe with self-esteem, self-doubt, maybe in general needing to manage stress. They may have a busy life. But I'm seeing that they're going to be able to kind of get to a point of seeing through this. Like they may, you may find that they're a bit of a war, a warrior. Worry, like W-O-R-R-Y. Yeah, they're stressing out about making a plan. Maybe for some of you too. For those of you that are in a relationship, somebody may be thinking about proposing to you and they're kind of freaking out about this, about what they're doing. Maybe they're also the type of person, especially with the emperor energy here, that likes to have things organized before they do it. It's like they want to have their little bullet list of how things are going to go and what they're going to be doing and how things are going to be set up. Like maybe they're kind of particular. I'm sort of getting that with the energy. It's like they like to have everything kind of planned out before jumping on something. So a methodical type of energy. Very interesting. Okay. I like when we character build during the readings to kind of paint the picture of whomever we're speaking about. All 
Okay. So, they definitely have a quite vivid life emotionally. I'm seeing this as also somebody, um, like, very much in charge of things, like, within their own life, or they may, um, they may, like, have some sort of business or, like, they take their job very seriously. It's something about their, their role and how they're perceived, but I'm seeing them also be, it's like, if you were to look in on this person within the workplace, you would see them as being very in touch with themselves, very creative, um, very intuitive, very compassionate, Maybe sometimes to the point of being surprised at like how much they can hold emotionally. And this is also somebody perceived as really caring about their job and maybe also how they're perceived when they're doing their job. Like this would be someone that you would look in on the space and be like, that's a really compassionate boss, a really understanding person. I'm seeing their job be important to them. job or roles that they play. They care about how they affect other people. So yeah, maybe even something going on with their job that's caused delays for some reason. Like maybe they've been developing. This is also somebody quite confident too. I'm seeing a good mix of masculine and feminine energy as well, which all of us have within us. They may have um, a highlight of Pluto, Pluto highly aspected, Scorpio placements, Pisces, Aries, Taurus. Okay, so um, they may be in a situation right now, whether this be circumstantial or this is just them mentally, where they're going to be moving out of something high stress. So whether this is an environment that they're moving out of, like something that they need to do, maybe this is why the delay is happening. They have to move away from something first. It's something, I'm hearing something that's been bugging them. It feels like they wouldn't want to bring you into whatever this is, so it needs to be squared away before they come through. Because they don't want your first impression of them to be just that they're in maybe an emotionally chaotic space. So something has to be settled, which it's going to be, and I'm seeing some type of jump or move that they're making, but there's a sense of them still needing to figure this out. I'm hearing something that they're weighing in on, but I'm seeing that they're going to get clarity on this situation for themselves. Um, it may be related to a work situation, a job situation, a business situation, a home situation. They have to make some sort of final decision. This can even be a move for some. Or even accepting a position. It's like they may even be moved to another location for, for work or like another company even for some I also feel like they're having some sort of realization as well they've also been looking for more too because there's a sense of this person having developed a lot and been like, you know what, I need to get out of here or I need to expand or I need to move on and needing to sort through that emotionally still and figure out how they're feeling. Because maybe they also have attachments to something, so they're letting go of that, like emotional attachments, emotional connection to something. So I'm seeing there's almost like a severing even, a healthy severing that's going to be happening. And I'm seeing that once that 
once that movement happens, they're going to be making a decision. They're also going to be making an announcement about a plan that they have, which may be where you come into the picture. And then it's going to come through for you. Interesting. I'm looking at... I'm looking at them coming through. I'm looking at a surprise here with the tower. Something unexpected. For some of you, you even bump into this person somewhere. I'm getting that too. I'm hearing instant recognition. However you come into contact with this person, it feels very unexpected. Also, to see the, um, I'm getting that Pluto and Mars, Pluto and Mars are sticking out to me, so this person may have, like, a prominent Aries placement, prominent Scorpio placement, um, Pisces, something with Taurus as well, anything else? Not for now, all right. We are going to, we are going to leave it here, my friends. Um, I am seeing, I am seeing them be very direct with you. It's not a situation that's going to leave you guessing. That's also why this person, it seems like they're working through what they're working through right now. For some of you, this person may not, um... They may not know who you are yet, however, because they're like working on their journey and this is what they're manifesting right now, it's like they're going to recognize you as soon as they come into contact with you and things will fall into place. For others of you, this person already knows who you are. There's just a sense of them needing to get things squared away before they come through. And we have to be adaptable when it comes to the timing of this. And keeping the faith. All right, we are going to we are going to leave it here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing. And I hope to catch you guys next time.